Nothing can change your life like a beautiful, healthy smile. But not everyone who needs braces can afford them. Dr. Ron Wilson and the team at Wilson Orthodontics are proud to be a part of the Smile for a Lifetime Foundation, which awards free orthodontic treatment to deserving young people right here in our community. The deadline for the current round of applications is May 1st. Just go to wilsonbraces.com and click on the Smile for a Lifetime logo. Smile for a Lifetime, a proud public service from Wilson Orthodontics. With this Access News break, I'm B.J. Williams. In the latest area political news, Hall County Commission Chairman Tom Oliver says he will run for another term in office. Oliver, who is from Chestnut Mountain, was first elected to the commission in 2005. He has served as commission chair the last two terms. The tax filing deadline is quickly approaching. It's April 17th this year. So far, the Georgia Revenue Commissioner says his office has received about 3.1 million individual returns. Most of those have been filed electronically. For the first time in eight years, Banks County High School students took part in an exercise known as a ghost out. Students heard from Trooper First Class David Snyder of the Georgia State Patrol and they participated in a mock car crash with students acting as victims. The event focused on the dangers of drinking and driving as well as on the dangers of texting and driving. Organizers say the event was timely since Banks County High has its prom this weekend. And it's going to be Monday before a stretch of Winder Highway can be repaired following a fuel spill near Highway 316 earlier this week. The DOT says the gasoline basically eroded the asphalt on the road. Cleanup of the gasoline by the EPD is taking longer than expected. With this Access News break, I'm B.J. Williams.